my privilege to welcome you all for this uh, first session of uh, knowledge sharing exercise. I invite uh, our chief guest, uh, Ms. Devika Devaya, to have a seat on the dais. Our MD, Mr. Ravi Raghavan, and our R&D chief, Mr. Ashok Bade. I request our MD, Mr. Ravi Raghavan, uh, to formally announce the program and uh, give a brief introduction. Good morning, everybody. We believe that uh, innovation is a new wealth. It's not money, it's not the resources, but it's the innovation that companies, organizations, nations can do using even limitations within that. And for example, Israel is a great example as a country. It's not only organizations, but even countries that can use the limitations to their advantage uh, to innovate. And that was the reason we thought uh, we should do a, you know, a focused approach towards this. And that's how our Kalam Center was born last year, to create a customer across the board, possible to adapt and sustain. If it's a process, we should be able to sustain. And if it's a product, we should be able to scale it. Or if it's a process, we should be able to apply it across the uh, various other processes. So these were the three fundamentals. So this was a basic purpose thing of us to look at a structured R&D and innovation. Ashok, uh, can we have a brief this thing? Let me take this opportunity once again to thank all of you for coming and uh, having uh, a share some of the things that we are doing with you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'll be talking on uh, the R&D, what we are doing here, why we are started the R&D, basically. Uh, from starting from milling machine, we expanded to horizontal machining centers, CNC machining centers. Uh, further, in between, we also expanded our business from milling machine to special purpose machine. This special purpose machine was developed in-house. All these things are kept at R&D center, uh, models and all that, when you are visiting at R&D center, our team who are working on that, they will be, detail, they will be uh, discussing with you or whatever questions are they will, they will be uh, telling you what are the things and all that, what they have done and if any questions are there, you can just ask them there. Okay. Thank you. Now we invite uh, Ms. Devika to take over the dash. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was completely fascinated uh, when I heard that you had an R&D center for innovation to just have an initiative like this. And uh, I was really happy to be, you know, have an opportunity to participate. What is innovation? It has three ingredients. The key is breakthrough insight. You notice the word idea is not anywhere here. And I'll come back to you as to why I haven't shared an idea as I go along, right? So the key is breakthrough insight, which will unlock a big challenge. Right? And what does this big challenge mean? It has to push you out of your comfort zone. It has never been done before in the same way with a solution that has a lasting impact, as Ravi was also talking about, and it's got to be scalable okay, for transformative new futures. More interesting to us is what's going to be industry umwells, right? So I remember, do you, do you remember the breakthrough that the Tata Ace made? What a difference it made to the market? It completely created a new segment. And you know what that was? It was a four-wheeler in a three-wheeler category. It's interesting when companies, when they start looking at their markets, you know how much of business analytics they employ, right? And in fact, this was considered to be the three-wheeler category, which was a commoditized category, but price was the only way in which you could battle it out, right? But who was defining it as three-wheeler? The companies, the customer didn't care whether it was a three or a four wheeler. For him, he was not a category. There is no chapa on his head saying that I'm a three wheeler rider. Right? And that's really where the ace made. And guess what? They charged about 30 or 40% more, Srini. 
They charged 30 or 40 percent more when they launched, and what a difference it made. Okay. So this is the thing for us to understand. So if you look at that, that outer circle as the umbrella of an industry, there is a rigidity at the core. Okay, and when I meet organizations, they're always talking to me with this rigidity. There is a certainty and a slowness, the adaptability that you were talking about. In the way, so the more you go to the core of an industry, the more slow they become. That they're more frozen. Why? But we are a three-wheeler category, Devika. You don't understand. Customers will say no if you change the price. This is a very price-sensitive category. We cannot touch that. Do you hear that? Right, but at the periphery, so innovation is always happening at the periphery of the umwelt of the industry. It's seldom happening at the core. And if you're not looking at it, and those were some of the questions we were asking later. You know, for us as a company, BFW, for example, right? What is happening at the core of the industry if people are already becoming obsolete, the top four or five? What will happen in the next five years, right? Can we play hard and fast in the core, but also bring in the flexibility of the periphery? How do we manage to do that? These are all questions for us to ask. So there is this myth of this innovation journey which Srini and I were talking about, right? That you have energy, enthusiasm, and results across your project, project stage. It's a very clean journey, like climbing a mountain. You know, we finish one step, then it's the next step, and then it's the next step, right? It's clean. But the reality is innovation doesn't proceed like that, OK? And because he's worked on some, you know, 30 to 40 innovation projects within an organization, I asked him to map the energy across projects. So we realize the need for inno innovation, then actually everybody stops. Yes, yes, we need it. Then nothing happens, right? Then confusion where and how to start. So there's a steep learning curve. As you're learning, there's excitement. And then new insights come, you're very happy, right? But then when you convince leadership, that starts taking time, it goes down again. So actually, the energy is like this. It's up, it's down. It's up, it's down. The universe is calling. Right? There's the power of that same power is in you. How will you respond? Will you respond day to day? Right? Or will you say, hey, let me respond with the power of the universe? What is your innovation story? Thank you again, Ravi. And this really has been a team working together. There's Karthik, Srinivas, and me together. Really, thank you very much for this.